The boy lifted his leg. A giant foot appeared. Then him moved his neck. His head enlarged several times. His eyeballs even popped out far. He were recruiting superhumans. The first boy who came up started blinking rapidly and was immediately eliminated. The second boy, chewing gum, vanished the next second. He passed. The third was a little girl. She began to sing. The judges were about to eliminate her, but the girl got angry. She lifted the table and threw it far away. She passed. Fourth was Jenny. She could control objects with her mind. She passed. The next one on stage just put paper in his mouth. The next seconds eliminated. In the end, these four students passed. They respectively possessed stretching, invisibility, super strength, and telekinesis. And the one responsible for training them was the former captain of the superhero team. He couldn't move at super speed, but due to a battle with aliens, he lost his powers. Now, he could only move one finger at super speed. Aliens were about to attack Earth again, so he had to train these kids quickly to fight against the alien. Did the subsequent training go smoothly? The boy possessed superpowers, able to enlarge any part of his body, so he was selected into the superhero team to fight against aliens. There were three others with him. During training, the little girl lifted a five-weight stone, but because the coach said skirts were not allowed, she threw the stone directly shattering the glass instantly. The boy refused to participate because he was lazy. The coach used psychological tactics on him, but unexpectedly, the boy enlarged his belly, trapping the coach against the glass. David, although participating in training, soon escaped using his invisibility skill, and none of the staff could find him. Jenny also didn't train seriously, so the coach took them to visit a UFO. Seeing it, they were all greatly impressed. The coach promised to take them on the UFO, on the condition that they participated in training. They arrived at a grassland, where the children caught a cow, only for the coach to release it. Then they went to a burger joint, shocking the staff. Upon returning, the children began training, but due to lack of experience, after the first round, they ended up getting beaten badly. They felt too embarrassed, so they started training desperately. The boy was about to die. His ass got super big. The next second, the water in the pool disappeared. He felt extremely embarrassed. During training, David unlocked a new superpower. He gained X-ray vision, able to see everything in the distance. The alien were about to arrive, so they flew to the alien landing site on a UFO. Surprisingly, the alien turned out to be the brother of Coach, who had lost his memory due to the radiation. The Coach wanted to awaken his memory, but he was knocked away instantly. The next moment, the little girl was about to be attacked. Suddenly, the Coach's superpowers were restored, and he saved the little girl in time. The Coach returned to the school at light speed, but soon, he returned. Turns out he went to change his battle suit, did to a punch, and then went invisible. Jenny used telekinetically controlled stones as weapons. The Coach started to spin at light speed creating a massive whirlwind. The boy enlarged his belly and bumped Jack away, and the little girl followed with a strike. Alien was sucked into the whirlwind, and eventually the radiation inside Jack was clear. The two brothers reunited, 